just having options in general is such a boon. And when your options specifically are able to keep away from characters that don't have mobility or punish characters that want to abuse that mobility. In the case of this matchup, Wario wants to jump around. He wants to jump and float in that space and just be a insanely annoying in a lot of positions. And Bayonetta has maybe one of the best tools at punishing stray jumps, period. That being Afterburner Kick. So if BDB wants to play around these platforms, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> as you see there, gonna be hit by the uh, side B and gonna be taking a lot of damage. Not gonna get hit by the sweet spot of the back air. So gonna be able to uh, come back with a little bit of ease as BD just kind of being very patient with this corner pressure, but he's going to be hit by the uh, aerial side B again. This move is just really good at being able to stop anything that BD wants to be able to do. No check chase either. Oh, but he gets that one that time, punishing the shield with a uh, with a chop of his own. 121 now. I mean, Wario can live certainly a very long time, but the, getting the turnaround up till into the back air, as I love oh. that high recover and the turnaround as well. <laughs> that was killed by the looks of it, but you know, going to be able to uh, be fine. The down tilt into the uh, back throw. Uh, but right now, BD just kind of holding the zone, just kind of being patient. BD is a very patient player. I will say that much. He's very good at just being able <laughs> That was cheeky, I like that. Oh, oh. the AV, that time BDB actually playing grounded, trying to stuff that approach with a forward tilt, but I think he angled it down instead of upward, which turned into a, a lane for Tejus to get through. Missing the full combo as Bayonetta with Rage can be a little bit different, but in the same vein, almost a lot more dangerous, because now you're starting to worry about jab, you're starting to worry about back air even more now. We're steadily approaching max rage here as Tejus goes high and is almost able to convert that into an up air combo. Oh, and the trade off the back air and the forward tilt gonna be going into BD's favor as he's gonna be able to secure that stock. And now going into this, he's gonna have, uh, I think, three minute waft going on now, or how much time waft is, I, I'm it's, not too yeah, sure. It's full waft. Yeah, it's full waft. But either way, BD gonna have full waft going into this. Might be able to get a good combo going, but the there, uh, no, no, you're done. Uppercut, uppercut. Just, she gets some, she summons someone else to, to hit uppercut. The, to <laughs> uppercut you, and it's like, all right, queen shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like doing this myself. Someone else do this for me, yeah. <laughs> okay, so BD gonna have a hard time going to uh, fight his way back as, uh, you know, just Slay gonna Slay. So, yeah, she's definitely playing around BDP's range so unbelievably well, but double up air in mid air like that, so he wanted to just get the confirmed damage into back air. Bayonetta can be very uh, easy to kill in a lot of ways if you're able to find those. Calls out the oh jump, no. has all of his resources. You're well beyond you're dead. Gone. <laughs> you're out of there. That's a home run. That's a jump called out, platform reset. No, like, no SDI is gonna save you because you are already that high up. Like, I think right here, BD Bean's only hope was to SDI far enough down and away from the first Witch Twist, but as soon as that second ABA, ABK connected, it was game over, game one, done, move on to number two, and BD Bean, you gotta be sure to stick to the ground because while platforms do give you, the, standing on platforms give you the ability to run off and still let you hold shield, uh, they're not exactly great because Bayo still gets to hound you with her aerial pressure. Yeah, and right now, BD trying to keep the corner pressure, Stop but jumping. gonna, get, <laughs> gonna be hit by the aerial side B. It is such a hard tool for Wario to deal with by looks of it, and you know, BD, he needs to find a way to deal with it. Maybe just going back a little bit further, just trying to play inside or like a little bit in and out of the range, but not doing the best job of it as 122%. I mean, Wario's heavy, but that's still very dangerous percent for any character to deal with. Yeah, I like that he's using bike a whole lot more here, not just eating it or getting rid of it. You have to use this as an extension of your offense, and this is gonna have to turn into a grab and a, into an, a down tilt type of matchup where you're playing around Bayo's space and just poking ever so slightly in order to find these huge confirms. And no bike 
is but that's because the, it's on stage, yeah, so it's, that's it's a double-edged sword. You know, if you want to use Bike as an extension of offense, that means if you get thrown off stage, you have exactly your double jump. And Mario doesn't have the best recovery without that Bike. Yeah, and right now the aerial side B is just doing wonder. They're, he's not just not really being able to get anything off, and when he does, it's one or two hits. I want to see BDB up smash one of these, maybe even with a crouch under on top of it. I take advantage of the fact that uh, Tejus is doing, like he's, they're almost exclusively going for a lot of these ABKs, especially off ledge. Try and take advantage of them being conditioned by success. Able to find the back air there. Oh, oh. that's just looking like an empty hop in order to try and find maybe a lingering neutral air, but the tech as well. This edge play is just not going well as he rolls straight into an up tilt, and you are taking a ton of damage, but not closing out the stock because there was no reset. Oh, and gonna get hit by the up tilt. The back air not gonna be able to connect. And no jump by the looks of it. No oh, chase goes. either. No <laughs> waft either. And ooh, this is this is looking very, very poor right now for yeah. BD. Yeah, not good out of 10, I would say. <laughs> but yeah. with a waft already gone and bike movement to spare, I mean, this is, this is a matchup that if you're going to win this game, you're going to have to take it to time because you need another waft and you need a way to find a hit here, but these air dodges aren't doing it for you, especially with this Bayonetta's ability to linger some of these neutral airs. Putting the up throw into the up air, 32%, keeping the bike around. And, uh, BD Bean did find a ton of success by using this bike in order to cover all of that vertical space. So you gotta wonder, uh, I mean, of course, 155. That's one back air away. Yeah. All it takes is one, and that up tilt is a perfect combo to do so, especially at a high percent like that. That might have been IDJ back air, as I mean, or maybe just full hop and delayed timing second jump. Either way, long, a big combo window for that up tilt back air, and it was exactly what, and one of the things that Bayonos just kind of needed in terms of shoring up one of their big weaknesses is just an easy, uh, an easily accessible kill combo. Yeah. And it's a very hard one to DI because even the DI is very, very reactable. Yeah, it's, it's uh, tricky for sure. But, wow, I mean, Teju's just coming in and saying, oh, Bayo Wario, I'm going to show you why Bloom beat, Glu uh, Bloom beat Gluttony, and I'm going to show you just how terrible yeah. this matchup can feel. I mean, it just, Bean looked uncomfortable from go. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, wow, what an opening couple sets that we had. Some real